hailed from the northeast of the Gambia in Kerouan. May Ahmad Fati, who was rose to becoming party leader of Gambia Moral Congress, a two-term contestant at the national presidential election as alliance partner with the United Democratic Party, is no stranger to Gambians. For me, as a political leader, my passion is about the Gambia and about the Gambian people. And that was the reason why I led my party into coalition 2016. And that was the reason why I supported the candidature of President Adam Obaro, essentially to liberate the Gambia. Born in a Muslim family with great values for decency and good morals, the young May schooled at Nyakoi and eventually found his way to the city for further education. Uh, my focus is to build a support base that will be conscious of their political rights, that will see themselves as the sovereign, that they have the power to make things in the country. We reiterate the call of the international community, in particular, the United Nations Security Council, ECOWAS and the African Union and demand that outgoing President Jami immediately step down and hand over power. I do not want to be a leader who will impose his will on the people. I am, do not want to be a leader who um, will subject his people to indignities. I believe that a leader has to be compassionate, has to be caring, uh, a leader has to be selfless, a leader must be willing to make sacrifices, but must also make the important and difficult decisions, not because they are popular, but because they are the right thing to do. The elections of 2016 brought him back from self-exile after several years to rescue his people from the clutches of a ruthless dictator, which he eventually succeeded in with his coalition partners. My mission is to build a very strong nation, to build a Gambia where there are equal opportunities for everybody regardless of your background, of your family, of your economy, of your education, of your gender, of, of, of your tribe. Every Gambian should have equal opportunities to realize his or her dreams in a country. So I want to see a country in which young people are highly educated, that there are jobs, that the farmers are able to produce, that indigenous enterprise is at its highest, and the Gambia can become a truly industrialized country. A seasoned lawyer and a human rights activist who have seen many Gambians freed from jail at no cost to his service. A true champion in the fight ensuring legal representation is respected and given to accused persons while serving his tenure at the Gambia Bar Association. Our people were being massacred, they were being slaughtered. Uh, people were being railroaded in kangaroo courts uh, some of which I uh, had the opportunity to defend. Uh, people were being arrested and detained regardless of constitutional provisions. The government lost its dignity. We were raped by Yajami as a nation. I, I am not a hero. I, I am just an ordinary Gambian, a simple Gambian like, like any other Gambian who had to do what he had to do uh, because he loves his country, he loves his people, uh, and he loves himself. Entrusted with the mandate, Minister of Interior, serving in the cabinet of President Adam Obaro from January 2017, Honorable Fatih served in this capacity for a period of time before returning to become a leader of his dear party, the GMC. It will become again my obligation and a mission with other Gambians to make sure that no government that will impose dictatorship on this country ever surfaces in our lifetime. And I'm confident that our children will pick up that legacy. So the government has a goodbye to dictatorship for good. No president will ever succeed in suffocating the political freedom of Gambians again in our history.
in a world where women are continually marginalized in opportunities and constantly subjected to coming second to men, Honorable Fati strives to change this status quo by involving them in his agenda and party leadership as a tool of empowerment and as partners in development. It is important, it is absolutely important that women are seen as partners in development. And we must not only play lip service to this because a lot of the times, you know, women just are considered an appendage. They just, you know, like carrier bags, we carry them along and we, we use them in, in our development programs, you know, to attract funding. This is unjust and this has to stop. Women must be seen as real partners and Angemian women must feel and experience themselves as integral to the country's tra trajectory. That they have to see themselves uh, playing equal role aside men uh, and that we must give them equal opportunities that we give men. In his capacity as Minister of Interior, he personally facilitated and supervised the return of dozens of Gambian citizens from the arms of suffering and possible death in Libyan prisons, rendering him a favorite amongst young people. Uh, solving the illegal migration issue is extremely important to me. And bringing our citizens who are trapped in Libya, many of them under extremely dangerous and perilous circumstances, bringing them home for me was more important than anything else now at the time. And so working with the IOM and European Union, uh, the ministry under my leadership at the time woke hard and we brought home almost 2,000 Gambians from Libya. You came home to a new Gambia, a new Gambia where you have a new government, a government who cares, who cares about its people, who cares about the well-being of its people, all the Gambians in the country and abroad. Because when I came in as minister, there was no policy on migration, no migration policy in the Gambia. Uh, by the time I left the ministry, we already had created a country profile on migration. We developed a policy and even had it validated. And so we also signed an agreement with the European Union under the European Union Trust Fund for Africa, that is Trust Fund for Migration. And all these were intended towards cautioning the environment and make it possible for our young people to be able to be gainfully employed and to be taught skills that will allow them at least to hold themselves. Courageous well-informed and charismatic, Honorable Fatih repeatedly broke the silence by restoring calm and tranquility to Gambians at home at a time in which the nation was in total turmoil, thereby solidifying his selfless and daring efforts that could hardly go unnoticed. And I want to emphasize that I believe in the right of our citizens to peaceful protest whether in authority or out of authority, that right is irreversible and irrevocable. And I will join any group of responsible citizens and I will join any group of Gambians who intend to peacefully protest for their rights. I will support the right to do so in a peaceful, orderly, responsible manner consistent with the law. And that is only going to strengthen our democracy. It is going to enrich our political discourse. And there's been no compromise on this.